Hey what's up guys, it's Lazarix. I'm going to be showing you an Agent Callus deck with his unique Yogar in some 1v1s today. Uh, let's go check out the deck before we get started here. Um, so I'm rocking the MTV7 light vehicle as usual with the stun grenade. Now just to remind you or to refresh, um, if you don't know already, um, his special ability gives Kallus uh, an additional 10% damage while attacking enemy units and his skill is huge. Um, he strikes the ground with his bow rifle to deal an extra 250% area of effect damage that also stuns enemies for a second and a half um, which is really important to keep in mind when you're playing Agent Kallus and if you're up here in Kyber um, Definitely, you'll want to have a level 2 Kalos. Um, most leaders up here are level 2 or higher. Playing a level 1 wouldn't go over so well, so I definitely recommend a level 2. Um, I don't think the level 1 Yogar is necessary. Um, I, I was playing Yogar at level 1 for a while, and he still did really good. So I just recently got level 2 Yogar with the special mission, gave me the unique card selector which was really handy. And let's keep looking over the deck here, I'm bringing along the Treadwell Repair Droid. Um, basically this, you could switch this out if you want, like the energy net or the Diaxis grenade, it can be changed out for other things. Um, it's not necessary, I just like to bring it because a lot of times like I said in my last video, you get paired up against high level players, level 13, 14 sometimes, um, sometimes even 12. So lately though, I've been having a lot of luck getting paired up against a level 11, but just to be safe, I'm going to bring along the repair droid. And then the TIE fighter for 1v1. So uh, this works really well, just quick clear stuff out if, if you're uh, running for their tower. Um, and at level 11, it does a lot of damage. And then the stormtroopers, just nice cheap damage troops. They do a good job and they're high level. I'm thinking about bringing the riot troopers, um, but they're still level six, so I'm gonna wait till I level them up before I use them. And then obviously the bladesmen, these are a must. They're super good and you get great value out of them. So with this deck, I'm gonna be on the defensive and try to use my stun grenade along with Agent Kalos's skill that will also stun them for an extra second and a half and I'm gonna try and keep in mind that duration of the stun lasts for 2.4 seconds which is a pretty long time um, with his extra second and a half so that's 3.9 seconds of stun that's huge um, but I'm hoping to get this upgraded soon. I'm only eight stun grenades away from upgrading to level six. Really excited and looking forward to that. Also want to get my light vehicle upgraded. That would help a lot. So let's jump right in here into a 1v1. I'm trying to push to 6,000 points. That would help a lot. Quick queue times in 1v1. Very nice. In a uh, second chance. I don't think I played this guy before, but... Unfortunately, this guy uh, is playing Lando, which is like an ultimate counter to this deck, uh, unfortunately, because I've been seeing a lot of Landos who would play their uh, double tanks because he can lay a tank in the back and then use his skill to lay down another one. So we got a pretty bad start here on our cards, unfortunately. Usually I like to get Yogar up right away. Um, okay. So it looks like he's going to be pushing this side. And our skill is ready. I'm not worried about those. I need to lay that down to get some uh, extra troops out here. Okay. Alright, yeah, he was just taking out that. Alright, let's get Yogar back here. We gotta get back on defense. There's a huge tank rolling down the lane. Alright. see here. A little bit of defense. I'm gonna jump in here. Try to stun them all. 
with a double stun, take out his tank and other troops. It looks like our uniques are going to battle it out, and mine wins. <laughs> Very nice. That's what I like to see. Um, let's just wait here on defense. Wait for our energy to build up. Still not sure what level he is. He's got a level 2 leader, which is good. Probably going to use his energy on that. Yes. Um, I'm not going to worry about taking out his. Because he has no towers to repair anyways right now but just keep that in our back pocket all right so he's gonna drop a tank in the back and a tank right there there's the double tank all right so we're gonna stun him oh we missed the stun on him oh no i missed my skill stun too darn it i didn't get it off in time so that's unfortunate we're gonna have to run up here and take out this tank. I tried to use my skill and stun him. Also, this is a 3.0 energy deck, so it really helps that I can quickly get down troops when I need them. Unfortunately, they're not a higher level, so I can't um, do a ton of damage with them. That's a level eight Chewbacca, wow. Get Yogar up, speed up those stormtroopers. Alright, so he just ran off there. That was pretty smart. Let's lay up one of those, see if we can. Uh... So he just dropped three energy here. Also a level 11. Alright, I gotta get back here actually because he just took out my tank and everything. This is a good time to drop a TIE fighter, took him out. Ah, shoot, I don't have enough energy here. Oh, we kind of do. Come on, come on, quickly get in here. We got our stun, but there's a tank. Come on. Can we stun him? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we got the tower. Very nice. Good game. Oh, man, playing Lando is so tough. He's really good. I actually use him as well when I'm playing Rebels with that double tank strategy. Great job for him. Plus 31, very nice. Um, whew, that was pretty intense. Um, so as you can see right here, uh, if you don't remember or don't know already, with his skill, you can, um, let's see, swap your cards for new cards. So basically when you lay down a tank, um, you can use his skill and then get an extra energy or two. And then you can lay down another tank. So it's pretty awesome. I've seen people up here using that a lot lately. Hopefully we don't go up against him too much. Let's jump right into another one and try to keep pushing for that 6,000. Hopefully we can get it this episode. We'll see. We've got pretty fast queue times lately. Oh no, you guys. I accidentally just queued up with Lando on accident when I was checking out his special and stuff. I forgot to switch back over to... Uh, my Callus deck, and I got paired up against um, an AOM guild member who uh, was a uh, look a very high level. Look at his cards: level four leader, level fourteen commons. Didn't really stand a chance against this guy. That was pretty funny. He destroyed me with those level eight epics. Oh man! But let's get back over to my Callus deck. And hopefully we can do a little better. I only lost seven from that, so not a big loss there. Um, hopefully we don't get matched up against one of those players again. Those guys are like at the top of the leaderboard. But quick uh, match up here from Sabine, who is also a very good leader if they're leveled up enough. Usually around level one, you're, you can control them um, a lot better. Uh, but we'll see. Alright, so we got a good start up here with our cards. So we're going to be able to place our unique and just wait for them to push and then try to do a counter push after that. Don't see them laying any cards. There it is. A tank. Very interesting. So let's find out what they do here. I'm going to try to get Callus in the back. And see if we can do some more here. Oh no, that was a good X-Wing. Uh, I gotta take out that Grenadier. 
Do some damage to the Wookie. <laughs> Gonna try to quick get in one of those unstable gunk droids I see. But we'll be able to handle all this no problem. And we're gonna take her out and go take her tower. Just like that, you guys. She tried to pull a fast one on us. Not today. Look at that speed up from Yogar. She knows it's over unless she disconnected. But that is gonna be the game right there. You can't really come back from that. It's pretty tough unless you're a higher level. Um, uh oh, where did Yogar go? Not too sure. Alright, well, let's just quick take the generator here with our double MTV7 light vehicles. And there we go. Luck we got paired up against a level 11 that time. It went, up, went a lot better. Um, ooh, and our, how, how many points did we get from that? Plus 22 pretty good we're only six points away now now we just need to do one more let's jump right into it as you can see the stun combo with Callus's skill works great awesome we're against Luke um, this deck actually works super well against Luke because of the stun that's in it and as well as um, Yogar's stun oh he's coming in quick um, this is not going to go well for him. Hopefully we can take him out, do a quick counter push. Get our MTV7 light vehicle moving. Mmm, yeah, it's too slow. Unfortunately. Yep, too slow. Oh my gosh, they're level 13. Shoot, that's a high level right there. We're going to take out all these troops, get some damage on Luke and his tower. Oh, no, he evaded it. We're going to stun him and do a little bit of damage on him. All right, he laid those rebel troopers, which was clutch. I got to get back on defense. I didn't really need that health, but I just wanted to make sure because he's going to, he missed the X-Wing. Wow, he's just running in here. It's quite surprising. I think he underestimated the Bladesman, but he's keeping us on defense. I do not have the energy like he does. Laying those cheap troops. Okay, here we go. And that with a stun on him. I should have laid that stun in a better place. Alright, yeah. Should have laid it in a better place. Can we get Yogar down? Alright, at least he sped up the MVTV 7 light vehicle, which is on his tower. I gotta get back here. Holy cow, there's a huge tank there, which I will need to take out. Alright, here we go. High fighter. Stun him. Very nice. Oh, his huge troops. Oh, can we get that tower quick? Come on, I gotta get this tower. Okay, quick, get back at defense. Level 13 coming in. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I gotta stun all of that. Quickly take him out if we can. Oh no, he's just too strong. Just too strong. Oh my gosh, too strong. Look at that, darn it. So we're just going to leave our turret there to finish off those guys. Oh my, he's coming right down here again. Uh oh, well, we got this uh, tank here that's going to be an issue. And we don't have any health available. We're in a tough position. Yikes. Alright, haven't seen a suicide Luke in a while. 
quite interesting, but I don't really have any health, so I can't take too many risks. Alright, that's going up, but I knew he had some energy available, so he's going to lay a tank. Alright, gotta get some troops down before I die anyway. Better I die than live right there so I can get my health back at least. Uh oh, we only got 10 seconds left. Can we get a tower? No, we can't really get anything right now. There's only a second left. Oh, that's too bad. We we're just had sitting back on defense. A bit unfortunate. Hopefully we can get back in another battle. Quickly here and get to that 6,000 mark. Quick queue times. It only took a second. All right, a different Luke. Hopefully he's not level 13. <laughs> that could be tough if he is. Um, hopefully he's the same level as me. So we did all right. That stun does huge damage. Although that last Luke didn't have Ben Kenobi with him, which was quite interesting. I usually see that every time someone plays Luke. I do not have him yet. But, oh wow, the, the bomber. <laughs> that was interesting. First time I've seen that playing against another player. I'm gonna lay the tank down just to take the damage. Level six epics. That's good to keep in mind. All right, where's the Kenobi? There he is. We got him. All right. Can we take everything out? Oh no, didn't quite take him out there. He's level 11 with a level 3 loop. He's got a level up on us, but pretty even matchup right now. He's just going to go grab some health, and we're going to wait. So I think because Kenobi died, he gets like a boost. Is that why his character's all lit up? Okay. Wow, look at those rebel troopers just taking out my tank. Although, they're equivalent to the Bladesmen, so that would make sense. Oh, tank? Yep, there it is. Alright, so he's just playing it slow. Alright, I'm going to let my tank take out the rest of that. And we're going to kill him. Take out these. Quick push. Go, 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 go. You got to go fast. That's why I love the Empire. They're very quick. Oh, oh, I don't have a, I don't have a stun. Oh, no, you guys. The stun's useless now. I got to wait till my... Light view goes up. Uh oh, that's not good. Got the Kenobi there, was not expecting that at all. I didn't think that he had the energy for it. A uh, bit unfortunate. I'm gonna take out all these guys. Get Yogar up. Grab some health too. All right, so he did a really good job there with the, the Ben Kenobi. Totally didn't see that coming. He got me really good. Um, so we're back where we were. He's going to lay a tank there. Not really sure why. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to quick take this out. I'm waiting for that Ben Kenobi. There he is. Unfortunately, I don't think that... Oh, yeah. There it is. Nice. So we're going to get the win right here. Or... Oh, he laid down the Marauders last second. There we go. Whew. That guy was pretty good with his Ben Kenobi. It's all about the timing right there with your stun grenade. But we got him. Good game. And... 
There you go. I mean, you can also use uh, Callus's stun skill, but the problem with that is that it's kind of slow compared to dropping the stun real quick on him. Um, deployment time is really fast, whereas the skill usually, I think it takes about a second to do, which is why sometimes players can even stun me which will stop my uh, skill and then it'll be all over from there but um we got pretty lucky this time uh, we hit the 6,000 points i hope you guys enjoyed here's the deck but yeah make sure to like if you enjoyed subscribe to see more and i will see you all next time